Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is a biography slash war film from the UK, and it's also Czech Republic. It's a joint venture, English language, released in the year 2016, directed by Sean Ellis, and this film's called Anthropoid. So Anthropoid is set during the World War, the Nazi occupation of Czechoslovakia, and Operation Anthropoid was the mission to assassinate Heinrich, uh, Reinhard Heydrich. Now, Reinhard Heydrich was the third in command behind Adolf Hitler and Heinrich Himmler, and he was the butcher of Prague. He basically slaughtered a lot of people in a very cold-hearted way and he had this new world solution that he was going to use in order to wipe out Jews and wipe out anyone who opposes him. So he's a very cold-hearted person that ruled with an iron fist. Everybody in, in Prague was scared of him and so you got a group of resistance fighters who were told from London to carry out Operation Anthropoid which is the assassination and so these resistance fighters they're planning through what they're actually going to do. They're terrified and basically they're going to use all their courage in order to pull through and carry out the mission because they believe it's for the greater good of Czechoslovakia. But then law Loyalty issues start to come out. The scared sort of resistance fighters, they, they worry that you know they're going to betray each other and they're going to dob them in and that the operation is going to be a failure. So they're going through what they're going to do, but then all of a sudden some complications arise where they're going to have to actually rush the plan a little bit. So there's going to be some mistakes going to be thrown in there, but whether or not they can actually pull off this uh, audacious sort of mission is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Anthropoid. As far as history is concerned, Operation Anthropoid is definitely a moment that I'm not really familiar with. When you come to the Nazis, you think of uh, Adolf Hitler, Heinrich Himmler, Joseph Goebbels, all those despicable people. But when it comes to Reinhard Heydrich, it's really a guy that I really don't know too much about. And so the occupation of Czechoslovakia during the war, it was very interesting. And that's what caught my attention. And that's what gave me an incentive to actually watch the film. You've also got Killian Murphy, who acts in the movie. You've got Toby Jones. And you've also got a whole host of other Czech actors. And so that was something that was, on one hand, was worrying me a little bit. I don't like movies that are depicted in a foreign land that speak English. But on the other hand, as I said, the, the really good actors in this movie give an opportunity to appeal to a worldwide audience. And I believe that this story, in the moment in time, deserves that wide, uh, worldwide audience because the bravery on show was absolutely incredible. And it shows you the power of the human spirit. It shows you the power of the ordinary man standing up to the aggression of a, a regime. And so I thought, in lesser hands, this movie really would have been a lost opportunity, but I thought Sean Ellis really nailed everything that he was trying to do. Now, what I liked and what I forgave about the fact that it was spoken in English was the fact that they're speaking in heavy accents. And so it would have been difficult to get Czech actors to actually appeal to a worldwide audience and to sell the film, but when you've got actors like Killian Murphy and Toby Jones speaking in a thick accent, at least the director is trying to make it as authentic as possible, and it's actually showing a little bit of respect to the, the Czechoslovakian souls that actually put their lives on the line. And so I thought the acting was fantastic and the reason why the acting was fantastic is because the script allows these characters to blossom to a point where you can really relate to them. It's, as I said, it's the ordinary man standing up against a regime and the beauty of this movie is that these aren't bulletproof killing machines, these aren't superheroes, these are ordinary people and you get the ordinary reactions that you would expect. They're absolutely terrified of what they're doing but they're going to pull through because they're putting their country before them. And this is the true act of bravery. This is the selflessness that a lot of people actually have out there. And so when you see that they're terrified, but they're going to pull through anyway, you can actually get on their case. You can actually support them because this is something that not everybody can do. And so I actually appreciated what these characters in the movie were doing. And therefore, I got a newfound appreciation for the actual real soldiers who actually took on this very daunting task. And so it's a very, very, very suspenseful film uh, around every corner. I didn't know whether or not these resistance fighters were going to betray each other and dob them into the Nazis in order to save their own skin because there are two uh, two types of people. When put under extreme pressure there are those who will succumb to the pressure and there are those that will pull through and so I thought that the overall that those two types of people within this group of resistance fighters is what creates the, the sense of urgency. It creates the sense of paranoia that okay, who is this person talking to? Is he going to report me to the Nazis? And are the Nazis around, lurking around, listening to our plans? And so when they're actually planning it through and they're actually talking to each other, I was on the edge of my seat. And this is something that you don't get traditionally as far as suspense is concerned, just people talking around a table. But because of the urgency and because of the importance of the issue and importance of the mission, just talking around a table was, uh, was absolutely riveting to me. So the script was absolutely phenomenal and it allows these characters to, uh, allows these actors to portray characters that were, I thought were very three-dimensional and very, very sympathetic. I thought this is a very emotional film, especially at the end. I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end, but I thought the emotion is 
issues seeping through the screen because there is a fine attention to the details uh, on the overall piece. And so the cinematography is absolutely phenomenal. It captures the authentic Prague. This is actually shot in Prague. So on the outside, on the visuals, you've got that beauty of the, the actual city. It's a magnificent city. But you've also got that psychological tension of the stranglehold that the Nazi regime had on everybody. You knew, you knew that every, everybody was pulled down. You knew that they couldn't walk around in freedom and actually feel as though they were safe. And so the psychological torment that the Nazis actually brought to this area of the world, I thought it was very menacing through the psychological tension. I thought, okay, everybody is just suppressed here. That Everybody cannot move freely. And this is something that a regime actually does. And so it's not so much a movie about Reinhard Heinrich himself. It's more about the common man fighting against it. And the closer it gets to the assassination date, the more I was on edge. And so it's an incredibly suspenseful film. The continuity was absolutely brilliant. And I thought the ending was just a great way to cap off what was a very memorable World War film about a time in history and about some very brave people that don't really get the recognition they, they, they deserve. And this is why I feel that Sean Ellis did a good job in actually casting very well-known British actors in order to try and sell the movie to a worldwide audience because it was in Czech, and if it was Czech actors, local actors, then it would have had a lot more difficulty actually selling the film. But at least Sean Ellis makes an effort to make it as authentic as possible and to actually pay respect to the Czechoslovakian soldiers. So it's an incredible movie. It's a movie that I'm highly recommending. Go out there and see I'm going to give Anthropoid four stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later.